And now, the man who makes Doctor Who look like a small brown stain. It's... Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you don't mind me using the same background wallpaper as I did for that Moon Knight reaction video because you know what? This background wallpaper accentuates my golden spikes and makes them almost luminous. But with that out of the way, cast your mind back to the year 2007. It was the second season of Heroes. I think that was on ABC or NBC TV. And you know what that show was about. Now, the reason why I mentioned that because in that same year, I went to a comic book convention in London to meet the actors who played the Petrelli brothers. I can't find that picture right now. I don't think I've got it anymore, but if I do find it, I'll be sure to stick it somewhere in this video. Ooh, uh, that sounded rather naughty, didn't it? Now, the reason why I bring up Comic Con and conventions and signings, that was the first and last time I would ever pay good money to meet two people. I was kind of enamored with at the time, but since then, We've just parted ways and we've become dust in the wind, man. But this story in the Daily Mirror yesterday, and it's really, really funny, actually. Jodie Whittaker, everybody's favorite new doctor. Well, <laughs> she's charging fans an eye-watering £220 for a meet and greet. So Jodie Whittaker, I don't think she's unattractive. I think she's pretty hot, actually, especially in the earlier parts of her career. But obviously, she's become a little bit insufferable, a bit of a Karen because of the, her portrayal of Doctor Who. So let's get this straight. I'm not, I've got nothing against Miss Whitaker. I do like her as an actress mostly. But I guess when she's given a good, a well-written role, then, you know, it, it'll, be de it'll depend how she resonates with the fans. £220. Bear in mind that in a couple of months' time or more, we're all going to be paying higher energy bills in the UK thanks to a mysterious shortage of gas and oil and what have you. So me, if I could do it, if I could just take one for the team, I would actually not have any heating in my house. But I've got to look after my dear old mum, so she needs to be warm, so do I, to some degree. But of course, that's another story that I'm just going to put away for now. So, let's just get on with this. The first female Time Lord, because God, she was so amazing, will be appearing at London's Comic Con convention next month. Now, to bear in mind, this is not the main Comic Con that is taking place in May at the XL. I'll give you the venue details in a second and they will be offering autographs and photos. Good Lord, or should I say, good time Lord, is big money when you meet Doctor Who. Who? The price to chat to Jodie Whittaker, 39, she looks pretty good for her age, comes on top of the 18 pounds entry fee you pay at the front uh, for the next month's comic convention. A source said, it might seem steep, but Doctor Who fans are the most committed around, so there'll be no shortage of takers. Yeah, we'll get to that one as well in a minute. Jodie announced last year she was leaving the iconic role in the BBC sci-fi series helmed by Chris Chibnall. In other words, a dickwad. So far, 13 actors have played the Doctor, with Jodie Kicks play, being the first to play the iconic role in 2017. There is no suggestion the actress or the organizers are breaching BBC rules, since they are not plugging a commercial product. Her Doctor Who predecessors, David Tennant, 50, and Matt Smith, 39, have attended Comic-Con events, but I bet they didn't charge as much. Sylvester McCoy, 78, wow. In the TARDIS from 87 to 89, and I do have some of these adventures. In fact, I've actually got one right here, and it was totally unplanned. There you go. Awesome, can't wait to watch that. Uh, Sylvester, yeah, we know that already. So, oh, right, so he's going to LA next month to do a convention. I'm sure he's gonna be pulling in the numbers. So, let's just go over to the actual venue details. So it's the London Comic Con, the Spring Comic Con, uh, from the 26th to the 27th of February this year at Olympia, London. So the nearest train station will be Kensington Olympia, don't you know? And there's a picture of Hayley Atwell in the background there, looking rather lovely as usual. So this is what you get. So the autograph, this is just for a Jodie Whittaker autograph. It's gonna be 75 pound. 
And before you think I'm ripping the piss out of Northerners, I love Northerners. I think they're so awesome. So when I do my really bad Northern accent, it's because I love you guys. And if I could have a choice between living between London and Liverpool or Sheffield or anywhere like that, I'll choose the North any day of the week. Uh, so for a photo shoot, it's 75 pounds. A green screen photo shoot, uh, yeah, that's what I've got behind me. And that, yeah, that for me, it's free. So yeah, whatever, 85 pounds. A double shoot with Mandip Gill, who I think is her assistant in the series, 120 pounds. So if you get Mandip and the Jodie Whittaker chick, uh, that's gonna be 120 pounds, which sounds like reasonably good value if you really are that scrimping for cash to get a picture with your favorite female Time Lord. Uh, talk, so if you wanna to talk to Jody about maybe Eccles Cakes or Christopher Eccleston even, <laughs> it's gonna be 25 pounds and it includes an exclusive print. What, an exclusive print of you talking to Jody Whittaker? You can't actually have someone film you because that's what I would do. <laughs> Oh my God. Please note the talk is scheduled to take place at 6 p.m. on Saturday evening. I went to Comic-Con last year in October and the biggest gripe I had, if you wanted to stick around to see your favorite guests like Tom Hiddleston or even David Hayter from the Metal Gear franchise. Jason King, <laughs> you're pretty good. You would have to stick around until 6 p.m. or after. It's a bit of a con. Now the Diamond Pass is 220 pounds. This is what the Daily Mirror talked about before. And that includes a standard autograph, a standard photo shoot. You can talk to Lord of Jordy uh, and you get a gift. And I believe the gift are dog tags, which is why would you want dog tags? If I want dog tags, I will get John Rambo dog tags because that makes me a man and it just makes me feel proud that I would own John Rambo's dog tags. So that is it, guys. It was a short story, it made me laugh. And um, yep, you got uh, you got Jody there with her colors looking really grand and beautiful. I'll tell you what, she should probably end up in uh, Coronation Street at some point. That would be pretty awesome. But yeah, this story <laughs> it made me laugh. Oh, wow. The whole process of meeting a star in controlled conditions where you have about five seconds to interact, get your picture, shove yourself out the way, and then make way for somebody else. It's just, it's not, it's just false. It really is. I would rather walk down the street and see somebody like Jude Law, who I did back in the day, even Robbie Williams. He had a hat on, he walked past me, but I just caught him as he walked past me and I thought, you jammy bastard. But yeah, I'd rather meet somebody outside, walk up to them. I mean, like my dream guest, my dream person to walk up to would be Henry Cavill because that guy, despite all his muscles and really handsome ruggedness, is a geek just like you and me. So folks, if you enjoyed this video today, you know what to do already. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, or better yet, get the Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver and give it a good old nozzle. And I will see you on my next video. <laughs>In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem approves this guy.